Hey guys, welcome back to episode 52 of our Technic playthrough. And today, back in the Thumb Town, we're going to be doing a little bit more Thumbcraft. A little bit more Thumbcraft. You guys like the Thumbcraft? I like the Thumbcraft. So I want to go ahead and explain a little bit of what I was talking about. Maybe, you know, like season 2. Now, I am going to be moving on to a different town because, you know, this is a great town. It looks good. I and mean, I still got a few things to finish up here. But the reason why I say that is because, you know, we don't have a whole lot of room left. You know, I have to start expanding it outwards, and I don't really want to do that. I don't want to have to keep replicating the same building. So instead of doing that, I was thinking to myself, you know, this could be just a smaller, smaller town. We can move away, you know, make like a train station, you know, have a use for making all the rails, you know, from the rail crab, the, the mod that's in here, and going to the next town, the bigger town. Where we'll have bigger buildings, you know, we'll have uh, better gadgets, you know, this, it look nice, it look cool, have a reason to go to this town and that town. I was just thinking about that, so, um, and it gives me a chance to kind of change a few things, so, anyways, let's get on to some Thumbcraft, Thumbcraft, and right, see what we can't make today, so we got making Thumb Crucial, Eldritch Mechanism, Gungles Revealing, Contained Emptiness, Void Ingot, Tainted Thomic Generator, Atomic generator. Exit the stream. Thumbic crystallizer. Thumbic restorer. Wand of reversal. Did we try making that at one time and couldn't? We said we didn't know anything. Let's see. Vampiric enchantment country. Harness to rage. Ho the mystic. Charm of the dead. Take a look at that one too. Alright, so let's take a look at Charm of the dead. This foreboding charm warps the mind of undead creatures, making them ignore you and turn on their fellows. Keep in mind that it can wear out and will be destroyed if overused. Charm of the dead indeed. Now, do I have zombie brains and do I have... I have zombie brains and skulls? I could make that. Let's make one up real quick. Why not? So what do I need for that? 100 these and 50 taint, so oop, I don't quite have my ring on. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Alright, so we need to put it in this guy. So let's just go ahead and put that guy in there. Put that guy in there, and this will make up real quick. While it's making up, we'll go ahead and read up the next one. Thalmic generator, what does this do? This device converts Vs into pure energy usable by many devices. It appears, or it generates industrial craft EU, red power. Butricity and Buildcraft MJ. Really? Now that is interesting. Because that means we can almost have an infinite supply of energy. Charm of the Dead. Alright, so does this go on my face or. Whoops. No. But we will put it in our hand real quick. Get that guy out of the way because that's what we have. Alright, well let's try this out real quick. Let's see if we can't find like a zombie or something. Oh, there's one. Hello? Zombie? Oh look at him go. It's working. Oh he just kicked his butt. You're a good guy, man. You're a good guy. You know, people say you guys just like eating brains and, and crap. You know, I could have a whole undead army. Oh, this would be amazing. You are my friend now. And for that, you must die. Yeah, I'm evil. Yes, sweet. So that's cool. So, you think it works on you too? Oh, it does. Look at you go. You're both, both under my power. You can die under my power. Alright, cool. That one worked. It's kind of a fun one, too. And we'll put that guy away. Who we have next? Wand of Reversal. So we need. What is this? Arcane Singularity. Wand of Reversal. So we need the Arcane Singularity. Do we even have that? Pretty sure that's something up here. Arcane focused. Totem. Hmm. 
Hmm. Dark Infuser, Dawnstone, Concentrated Evil, Bow of the Bone. Collected Wisdom. Could probably try that one out. Wand of Bone. I think we already did that one. It's okay, so let's take a look and see what this arcane... Arcane Singularity is... Oh, okay, so we just need Aluminum... Aluminum? And Nitor. So I think we got everything for that, which we do. Um, going down. All right, so we need... We just make two. Two of these guys real quick. And then we'll make... Two of these guys. Put those in there, and we'll make arcane singularities. And we'll go upstairs and get us some wood. Which kind of wood did it say? I think it said chanted wood. Doop. And there we go, it is making it. Look at that. Having fun with a little thumb craft today. Wonder reversal. Is that what was we making? Wonder reversal, yeah. Turn back the hands of time with this magical wand, or this mystical wand. This wand allows you to retrieve runic essences and upgrade and upgrades once they have been placed. Though success isn't guaranteed, it can also be used to retrieve anim animated chests. Hey, well, let's check it out then. I want you to turn back time. You're not turning back time. Go there. Or there. Um. I don't. I don't quite know how to to use your wand. <laughs> turn back the hands of time with this mystical wand. Uh, maybe it doesn't actually work on that. This one allows you to retrieve runic essences and upgrades once they have been placed. Okay, so I think this is more for just picking up items like... <laughs> like the arcane singularity, or these arcane things, like these focuses. I think it's more for picking these things up than anything. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Pretty sure. Well, at least we got the Charm of the Dead working. That was pretty cool. Alright, so we got Charm of the Dead, Collected Wisdom. We'll leave that one there. Alright, so we'll put the ones we've done in here. Collected Wisdom, what does this do? This upgrade allows Thalmic devices like enchanters to impart more knowledge or magical effects. Aha! So if I take a zombie brain, a stone slab, whoops, zombie brain, one of those, do I have any stone slabs on me? Hello, stone slabs, anywhere, hello. So we need a hundred V's. Alright, so we'll take this guy out. We'll put this, this, and this in there. Nice. Okay, it's going nice and slow. Needs a hundred V's. So you can see this thing has 500 V's. 500 V. So that's a hundred percent V's. Nice, look at it. I've collected wisdom. Alright, so we put this guy... Like this. Um. <laughs> uh. How does this work? This upgrade allows thomic devices like enchanters to impart more knowledge of magical effects. If I put it in here, it's not like it's got a secondary slot or anything. This is a thomic enchanter as well. It's not a placeable block, it seems. 
Maybe if it's just uh, something I'm holding on to. Like if I hold on to it, it maybe works. So these two are already upgraded. That bow bone's already upgraded. Let's do my sapphire axe then. Maybe if I hit it a few times. Increases mystical capacity or knowledge. Hmm. Do that one. Send down the beast. Wow, that's gonna take 900, huh? Guess we better go fill up the, uh... Oh, this guy's got... You guys are gonna be yelling at me. It's gonna be filling up this taint thing. It's gonna explode, isn't it? Good lord. Break that. Taint's going up again. This thing's full of taint. Look at this. Oh man, what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna have to use that. Hmm. I am gonna have to use it. That's unfortunate. We'll do that for the time being until it switches over. Break that off. Let that keep going through. Wait. There we go. Now break it off. There we go. Why you no work? Stop it. Work correctly. There you go. So it's still sending down? No. Okay, so that's pretty much done. I think. Yep. Efficiency three. Wow, that guy's probably pretty quick then, huh? I wonder how fast this guy is with efficiency three. Let's take a look. Probably not as fast as the other ones, but... Well, this is flying, so... Oh, wow. That's forestry mod, but... Wow, it even digs through dirt pretty quick. Look at that. Oh yeah, this guy's pretty quick. That's good. That's really good. Huh, well, it's efficiency three. Alright, so what else did we have? We had Thalmic Generator. Darn. I have to save that for later. Alright, let's go ahead and put up what we used. We did Collected Wisdom already. And throw a few of these things that are we've actually made out of here in here as well so we'll know where they're at and then we'll open up our bag here throw some of the stuff in here that we don't need at the moment wait where's my I didn't mean for that to go in there beast filter advanced beast filter these need to come out because these don't really belong in here I don't really want any thom thomic stuff in here. Alright, so we'll keep all that in there. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's put in these two guys and we'll go ahead and throw in these. Oops, I need that. There we go. That guy too. Alright, so there's the things we made from recipes. Here's things that we made from just Thomcraft itself. Actually, this would go down there, too. And to be honest with you, this one would, too. But it doesn't really matter, because we're almost out of room down there. I gotcha. Alright, let's run through one more quick little sweep to see if we ain't got nothing here we can make. Don't dust. Concentrated taint. Bleeding it. Contained emptiness. Extra stream. Thumb and crystalline. Thumb and restore. I kind of want to make one of these. Just to see what it does. And water's cool. All right, so we need we need an arcane focus. All right, so I need the original arcane focus. Is that uh, makeable? All right, so iron ingot in a vis crystal. Vis crystal for iron ingots. 
crafting table. One, two, three, and four. I can't focus, and so I need to get one of these aqueous crystals. Put it in a thomic fuser. There we go. So these two guys go in there, and it makes me an arcane focus this thing. So let's read what it does real quick. This arcane focus has long range and medium spread. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. That makes a lot of a lot of sense. <laughs> um Wow, stuff's just dripping stuff all over the place. That's I imagine that's not a good thing. Can't do that. Just don't like that stuff sitting in there. Hmm. I'll have to read up on these focus things. I don't think it does anything, to be honest with you. Like, just generally, I mean, I'm sure it does something. I don't think it does anything, like, out here. And this does, it is kind of scary over here. I mean, look, it says in the bottom left hand of my screen, it says 16, 14%. And I imagine that bottom one's taint because it's got T next to it, so it's 14% taint. Got a 1% of V sneer. I imagine that's not very good. It's probably because of this thing. That's a lot of stuff there. Hmm. I wonder if I could just maybe hook that up for now and put it in the same same container maybe I wonder if it would transfer over I think it would no it doesn't transfer why would it transfer from one tank to another it has no purpose to so do we have like any machine? Maybe this arcane focus will do something. Or arcane furnace, sorry. My bad, my bad. Okay, so if we do something like that. Five V's, 100%. So I, I imagine it's The line doesn't work. I mean, it's like it sent something over. I hate to break that thing because that's what I was doing before. <laughs> I was just sitting there breaking these things. You guys seem to know about this a lot more than I do. Probably just need to connect that over. Go ahead and grab this guy out. Oh, didn't want that to happen. I would have grabbed that before it switched over. Crud. Don't know what to do with this guy. Might leave that up to you guys. What do I need to do to get rid of this? I don't want to just break it and all that taint go up in the air. Oh. Wow. My vis is going down a lot. My taint's going up. I did hear there was something to do with like the phase of the moon something to do with it, so I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I'm not really sure what else I can do to actually help the, the area here. I mean, I got like a ton of these these, um, things here. These Totem of Dawns. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to just leave them there and they do stuff or what. This one seems to be doing more good than anything. I'm not a big fan of this thing dripping. You know what? Screw ya. Get out of here. It's just Vs, right? It's just Vs. Should be good, right? I hope. 
All right, there's some creepy stuff going on outside. <laughs> Just gonna point that out right now. Creepy stuff going on outside. All right, so what did we make this episode? We made that wander reversal. There's some ghosts. Wolf. Okay, so what do we make? We made this arcane focus. I think we made that wand this episode. So what else do we have? Arcane focus, thalmic generator. I don't think we really have too much else left to make. What's this brazzy of souls? We wanted to read your thalmocon by the light of burning souls. Here is your chance. This tormented glow of the souls allows. Also seems to draw vase and taint from surrounding chunks to raise the levels of the chunk the brazier is placed in. Hmm. Don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Concentrated taint. Soul Steel Enchantment, Relic Hunter, got all that, Stabilized Singularity. I don't know if I read this one. This upgrade increases the efficiency of any devices or thalmic creations it's attached to. Okay, wait, so this collected, collected wisdom thing. Did we have to attach it somehow to that thalmic? Imagine there's a way to attach it. Just don't think I'm doing it right. Hmm. All right. Well, that's crazy. I don't really have a whole lot to do this episode. I don't think. I need to get some more research going on, and I like to do a lot of that off camera just because it's kind of a pain to be honest with you. And uh, you get a lot of duplicates. Concentrated taint. We'll take a look at this one real quick. This foul liquid must be handled with great care. Dropping it will cause taint to spread in the area. Unfortunately, it does no lasting harm to the local ore unless you soak the area in it. Why would you do that? <laughs> Congealed taint. So, I mean, I really need some way in here to help me get my area a lot better you know with the potion of purity charm of cleansing didn't even look in here potion of purity try it out hopefully it works do I need to put some more of that diamond stuffs in there I can do it. Raise our chances up a little bit, huh? It's getting there. Success rate of 53%. What is this potion purity? Tricky? It's a tricky one. Mr. Grinch. He was snive and evil too. Sun's coming up. <laughs> I'm clever. Clever, you say? Clever. Hi, wise guy, wise guy. Um, coming through, coming through. No, darn it, it went down. <laughs> Done, you. Mr. Wolf guy's changing back, as you can see. Can take care of that real fast. There we go. <laughs> I changed him into a skeleton. And now he's gonna burn. Like he was meant to be. Yeah, he's called me a monster because I shot a horse. Guys, I'm just testing bow here. It's evil. I'm not a monster. The bow's a monster. I promise it's not me. I just like shoot stuff with it. Look at that. Look at that trail. Look at that evil trail of darkness and destruction. Oh, I just gotta put it away. Get it in the right bag. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're good. Is this thing done? 
Nice, Bush and Impurity. We'll go ahead and read this. So we need Silverwood Leaves. And that will give us a potion wood purity. This glowing liquid burns away taint on contact and returns it to its natural natural state. Unfortunately, it only has a limited positive effect on the local aura, so the taint may return. Hmm. I don't think I have any silver wood leaves. Yeah, I don't have any leaves. But I tell you what next episode we'll go ahead and continue this on go ahead and go get us some leaves i'll make me some shears up i think i got some shears somewhere but i'll find us some shears we'll go out and um we'll get some of that uh actually i don't know we might actually hold on before we go oh if that tree's still over here i think i think we might have took it down because i remember we had a uh Silver wood over here. I don't remember if the leaves are still there. I think I cut it down. Yep, I think it did. I'm pretty sure it's like right in this area here. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this episode here. We've gotten to the end of the episode. So, if you guys enjoyed, let me know what you guys think. Next episode, we'll get back in here. We'll do some more work. Need a little bit more thumb craft. No, and like I said, I know the last episode I said we'd do it after this episode, but no. Um, yeah, we'll uh we'll get back to building some more soon. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys would leave me a rating, a like would be appreciated. If you guys would, and until next time, I will see you then. <gasps> Goodbye.